Welcome to my engineering drawing playlist. Today I'll be explaining concept of loci of points in mechanism. So let's start first of all the types of mechanism. So basically there are two types of mechanism for the loci of points. First one is the slider crank mechanism and second one is the four bar mechanism. Now further slider crank mechanism is divided in two types. First one is the simple slider mechanism and second one is the offset slider crank mechanism. So let's see first of all the simple slider crank mechanism. So this is very good animation to understand the simple slider crank mechanism. In this figure there is only one slider. That's why it is called as the slider crank mechanism. Here you can see this red color is the crank which will rotate and here you can see the slider which will reciprocate. So when you give the input to this crank then the rotary motion is converted into reciprocating motion with the help of this simple slider crank mechanism. Now let's see the second one offset slider crank mechanism and here you can see the animation. Observe it carefully the animation of the offset slider crank mechanism and try to differentiate these two type of the slider crank mechanism. Can you differentiate my dear friends? What is the difference between these two mechanism? Yes, definitely here you can see line of the slider that will pass through the center of the crankshaft in the case of simple slider crank mechanism. Whereas in offset slider crank mechanism, the center of the crank that you can see over here and the slider slides on this path. So having some offset distance. And that's why it is called as the offset slider crank mechanism. So it is really very important to solve the problems related to the loose have points. Now let's see the second type of the mechanism. Here you can see there are actually four links. That's why it is called as the four bar mechanism. First link that is connecting these two fixed points that is known as the frame. So this is actually the fixed link that's why it is called as the frame. And the remaining links are actually movable. Here you can see link 2 is rotating. Link 4 is actually oscillating here you can see. And link 3 is the connecting road which connects link 2 and link 4. So this is actually the four bar mechanism and these two are called as the slider crank mechanism. Now let's see first of all the terminology of the slider crank mechanism which is very important to solve the problems related to the loci of points. So here you can see this is called as the crank having always rotary motion. This is a fixed point. It is actually not move. That's why it is called as the fixed point. Here you can see the slider is sliding along this guide. And this blue color is the connecting road which connects crank to the slider. So it is really very simple terminology. Keep in mind that in the single slider mechanism, there are four links. First is the crank, then connecting road, third is the slider and fourth one is the frame which is fixed. Out of this four link, this link having shortest length, that's why it is called as the crank. And through this crank, we will provide the input to the mechanism. Now let's see the definition of the loci of points or you can see the concept of the loci of points. 
it is actually the path or you can say locus or you can say trace of any point which is on any link during one complete revolution of crank. Look at this figure carefully. Here this is the crank which will rotate. So during one complete revolution of this crank, if you trace any point which is on any link during one complete revolution of the crank will be considered as a locus of the point or you can say loci of point. So here you can see this is actually the loci of the point or the end of this link. So this is really a very simple concept or you can say definition. Now look at this another figure. Here also you can see this green color that is actually the locus of midpoint of this link during one complete revolution of the crank. And that we have to draw in this chapter. So that you can imagine that this type of the shape will generate during one complete revolution of the crank. But how you can draw it step by step that we are going to see in this chapter. Here also you can see this is actually the path or you can see the locus of this point. One more animation to understand the locus of the point or the single slider mechanism. So this is actually the slider crank mechanism. And this is actually the four bar mechanism. So the mechanism can be any one. It can be the slider crank mechanism or it can be the four bar mechanism. But only you have to focus on that particular point which is on any link that represent as a locus of point. If you have any question then you can write in the comment box. I will be back. Thanks my dear friends for watching this video. Press the like button to appreciate it.